Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with the 24 Tags of Christmas 2017. This is day four with four penguin slider tags to add to my 24 tags. And I'm using Avery L's little penguins and the ice that they're going to be skating on. I'm gonna make it a slider tag. And I'm gonna do that by using Ellen's set that has all these different kinds of things to slide things on. I just punched it out of the little piece of ice so that they can slide across it. Very cool, eh? So let's get busy. I'm gonna quickly color these guys with my Copic markers. And you can color them, of course, with anything. And it's really easy to color a penguin even if you don't do any shading. Just color in the black parts black, color their scarves, and color their, their little uh, skates. And that's really all you have to do. So you don't have to be a coloring fanatic to do this. You could even have the kids help you do the coloring, which I'm sure they would love to do. And you could have them take some of the burden off of you for the Christmas decoration and crafty projects. And maybe you can do some complex tags or you can do the hard parts of this and give them the easier parts to work on. I'm using some T markers, but you can use the C's, the N's, the T's, the W's, whatever kinds of grays you have in your Copic collection, because really all of them look like gray when you start coloring with them. They're just slightly, slightly, slightly different. I tend to trade around between them because one starts running low on ink, so I switch to another rather than going to re-ink everything. So that's just me being lazy. Yes, me. Sandy Alnock is lazy. There you go. I'm going to show you how I'm not lazy though in a few minutes that you're going to get to see some craziness that I got to do because I was not thinking. Because when I bought this stamp set, I knew I wanted to color these guys. They are so much fun. They're so cute. And I wanted to stamp them and everything, but I didn't really think I was going to need the dies. So I wish I had bought the dies. So I'm going to link you in the doobly-doo and over on the blog to the stamps and the dies. So if you're going to do this, I would recommend getting both because it took me a little longer to finish these tags because I am silly and did not mind the dies. But I guess if you if you know me, you know most of my artwork is done by actually not doing any of the die cutting. I do a lot more stamping and masking of my images. But for these tags, I thought these little guys needed to move and slide around on the tags instead of being kind of locked in by just being stamped alone. I did stamp four of the wreaths because I had an idea for what I wanted to do with the wreaths and have the little penguins carrying them around. So I decided I would color them up. And my idea here, again, added to my pain, <laughs> which would have been alleviated had I bought the dies. And even when I did this, I, I probably could have had time to order the dies and then finish the video later, but I didn't. I, yeah, you know. Some people do things the smart way and some people live as an example to you on how to not do things the hard way. So let me be an example to you. And I don't know if you guys are fussy cutters or if you're more of die cutters. You can let me know that in the comments when you leave your comments because you want to leave comments on this video as well as the others in the tag series. And you can leave comments over on the blog as well because I give away all the tags every year. 24 winners are going to get a tag in the mail from me and I would love for you to be one of the winners and I pick from both the blog and from YouTube. So I go to each particular tag and I pick one from the blog and one from YouTube for every single one. It Just because your name is picked from one does not mean that that is the tag you'll win because then I just throw them all in a hat and everybody gets whatever gets dropped in the envelopes that I put their names on. But that is how I select them so that I make sure that I give plenty of opportunities to everybody who's seeing all of the videos and gets a chance to win them. And I love giving away things, love sending out stuff like this because it makes people happy. And I love just picturing people's faces when they get happy mail and the, the feeling that you get when you get some mail that you either didn't expect or didn't warrant or whatever, you just get something that makes your day. 
it's especially nice during the Christmas season. So I did decide I was adding all this crazy shading. You literally would not have to do all the crazy shading as well. So you can let me serve an ex as an example to you as well, how not to make your tags harder than they need to be by not doing all of the shading. But here I go with the fussy cutting. I'm not gonna put you through watching me fussy cut, but you can see that die cutting would have been a whole heck of a lot easier than that. But nonetheless, look at how cute they are when they are holding their little wreaths. And I had to figure out where to put the adhesive so it would stick on their arm, but they're all gonna be dancing around with their wreaths. And I did fussy cut already my little icebergs and I put some adhesive on the back of it so that it will be popped up. You'll see that in just a minute. And then I added just a little bit of gray to each one of the, the sides of the iceberg so that they'll look a little bit dimensional and you could not color those at all, but they sort of fit better with the penguins when they have a little bit of coloring on them. So just use a little lighter gray to soften things out a little bit. And then I die cut the tags themselves, the, the blue tags that are there with, um, a die set that has a little edge to it, which was kind of nice to give it a little finished look. Now for these guys, I had to cut some dimensional adhesive that will slide through that slot. So you have to cut a piece that's gonna be small enough to slide through that. And I did a double because I wanted it to be thick so that the little guy pops up. And then I slid the piece down over top of it so you can see that it fits. And then I put another punched circle over top. You can do that with pennies or dimes, but it's a lot easier to do with paper and it's a lot thinner. And then I put some dimensional adhesive on top of that. You can use other adhesives as well, but the extreme power tabs work really great to hold things that are gonna move because they don't go anywhere. They, they are pretty permanent. And then after I made sure he slid correctly through his little slot, I pulled off the sticky and added it to each one of the tags and got it lined up and then made sure he will slide along his little channel. And I did that with each of the four so that I could have four tags to add to the group that's going to be sent out as prizes. So I hope you win. Be sure to leave comments in order to have a chance to win. And then I want to show you a, a sneak peek at what's over on the Bible journaling channel. These are actually not Bible bookmarks, I'm sort of Bible bookmarks because they're for Bible journalers, but there's two different kinds of bookmarks made of just designer paper that you can make for stocking stuffers. And I will see you over there if you choose to watch that video. If not, I will see you here tomorrow with another video in the tags series. Thank you so much for hitting that like button and I'll see you later.